Good day, students. Yeah, welcome to NSC 206, which is biochemistry. And this is study session one, which introduce you to biochemistry. Please sit down, you enjoy this course. Introduction. Biochemistry is a study of structure, composition, and chemical reactions of substances in living systems. It is used in, it is used in medicine, dentistry, nursing, veterinary medicine, food sciences, pharmacology, physiology, microbiology, and clinical chemistry. And there are four main kinds of biomolecules in biochemistry. You have carbohydrates, you have lipids, there's protein, and nucleic acids. Biochemistry is closely related to molecular biology, which is the study of the molecular mechanisms by which genetic information encoded in DNA and is able to result in life processes. In this study session, You'll be introduced. Uh, you, you, you'll be introduced to the biomolecules of biochemistry as it relates to nursing practice and some terminologies that you may come across in this course. At the end of this study session, you should be able to list the chemical elements of life. You should be able to highlight and explain briefly the four different types of biomolecules. You should be able to define some common terminologies in biochemistry. The chemical elements of life. Around two dozens of the 92 naturally occurring chemical elements are essential to various kinds of biological life. Most rare elements on heart are not needed by life, while a few common ones are not used. Most organisms share elements needs, but there are a few differences between plants and animals. For example, ocean hagen use bromine, but land, land plants and animals seem to need none. Just six elements, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, calcium, and phosphorus, makes up almost 99% of the mass of a human body as shown in the diagram on your screen. In addition to the, to the six major elements that compose most of the human body, women require smaller amounts of possibly 18 more of these chemical elements. Let's move to the biomolecules. The four main classes of molecules in biochemistry, which are often called biomolecules, are carbohydrates, lipid, proteins, and nucleic acids. Many biological molecules are polymers. In this terminology, monomers are relatively small micromolecules that are linked together to create large macromolecules known as polymers. When monomers are linked together to synthesize a biological polymer, they undergo a process called dehydration synthesis. Different macromolecules can, assembly in, can assemble in larger complexes, often needed for biological activity. Carbohydrates are made from monomers called monosaccharides, and some of these monosaccharides include glucose, fructose, and deoxyribose. When two monosaccharides undergo dehydration synthesis, when they undergo dehydration synthesis, Water is produced as two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom are lost from the two monosaccharides hydroxy group. Lipids are usually made from one molecule of glycerol combined with other molecules. In triglycerides, the main group of bulk lipids, which is the main group of bulk lipids, that is triglycerides, there is one molecule of glycerol and three fatty acids. The proteins are very large molecules. They are macrobiopolymers made from monomers called amino acids. There are 20 standard amino acids, each containing a carboxyl group, an amino group, and a side chain. When amino acids combine, they form a special bond called a peptide bond through dehydration synthesis and become a polypeptide or protein. The most common nucleic acids are the deoxyribonucleic acid, which is the DNA, and also ribonucleic acid, which is the RNA. Their monomers are called nucleotides. Let's look at some key terms that you, you get used to along this course. Biomolecules. A biomolecule is any molecule that is produced by a living organism, including large macromolecules such as protein, carbohydrates, lipid, and nucleic acids, as well as small molecules such as primary metabolites, secondary metabolites, and natural products. What are enzymes? Enzymes are biological molecules responsible for the thousands of metabolic processes that sustain life. Metabolism is a set of 
life sustaining chemical transformation within the cells of living organisms it is usually divided into two categories we have we can have catabolism and anabolism as this course goes on you will get to understand some more basic concepts of these terminologies dna deoxyribonucleic acid is a molecule that encodes the genetic instruction used in the development and functioning of all known living organisms and many viruses ribonucleic acid which is a rna is a ubiquitous family of large biological molecules that perform multiple vital roles in the coding, decoding, regulation, and expression of genes. Gluconeogenesis is a metabolic pathway that results in the generation of glucose from non-carbohydrate carbon substrates such as pyruvate, lactate, glycerol, glucogenic amino acids, and fatty acids. Thanks for listening. See you in the next class.